I've been out of the cult I was in for almost 30 years, and I still look in the mirror and ask myself, what was I thinking, and how could I have let that happen? It's probably a question I'll never stop asking myself. I think, no. Damn it. What I was really going to say is this. Because there is a side of me that's afraid if I stop asking, I may end up back in a similar situation. I stopped myself from saying that because the guy who ran my cult, let's call him Craig, used to say, side of you? Are you a box? How many sides do you have? I've been out of the cult that I was in for almost 30 years, and I still have his voice in my head. My childhood was full of all of the things that would eventually strengthen me, abuse, abandonment, and neglect. Somewhere along the way, because of the hand it dealt me, and the plethora of bad choices I had made, I started having crippling anxiety attacks. I started passing out in public and at home two or three times a day. By the time I was 18, I had had these attacks for a year and was ready to end my life. I met Craig when I was 19 years old. He was 20 years older than me and a master manipulator in con ours. He could turn every word you said into a weapon against yourself. He used our histories and personal traumas like a string to push and pull us through our psychosis like a yo-yo. He kept us working against ourselves and each other. Five years passed before I got out of the hell I had created, and my escape came in an improbable place. In his evil genius, Craig had figured out encouraging the women in the cult to become strippers was a great way for him to get more money out of us. I was all for it. That's right, I wanted to be a stripper. Until this point, I was a prisoner in our house. I was rarely let out and seldom without another member of the cult. I didn't look at the club as a house of ill repute. I looked at it as a mansion of possibilities, a place full of people not associated with the cult, people that could help me. It took me about a year of dancing before I gathered the strength, courage, and allies I would need to get out. Long conversations with people I met helped me wade through all the deception and brainwashing. I met doctors who knew good therapists, lawyers, in case Craig came after me legally, and police officers that would teach me how to protect myself. I also made friends with other dancers that helped me renew my confidence and offered me a safe place to hang out when I got scared and didn't feel strong. They say it takes a village to raise a child. Lucky for me, it only takes a full topless bar to save a 24-year-old girl. Yes, his voice is still in my head, but hearing something and giving it power are two different things. His voice used to terrify me, now it amuses me. It wasn't an easy or overnight transition, and I am eternally grateful to everyone who helped me. The strength I gained from freeing myself was helping me to build the life that I have now, a life of confidence, rich with opportunity, friends, and love. <laughs>